Yo, 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 yo. You too. My royal ones, kings and queens. Morning, morning. Mounting, mounting, mounting. We got a beautiful morning in Las Vegas, Nevada. Reporting live from Sin City. It's a beautiful day. And as always, watch out for that new mixtape coming soon. I promise, you're gonna love it. If it's your first time rocking with the bar, I'll be the K-I-N-G-S-P-R double three. That's me, King Spree. And we like to talk a whole lot of shh over here. So listen, man. Listen, guy. You got me thinking, man. Over the weekend, had a pretty decent weekend. And we're going to jump right into the topic, man. It is so important to, especially as a, as a man, doesn't matter what, what, what race you are, but I was going to say black man, but it doesn't really matter. As a man, it's so important. Woman too. It's so important to be on your P's and Q's. It's so important to be on top of your sh. Before we continue, please go ahead. Give the video a like, man. I really do appreciate it. Please go ahead. Leave a little comment if you can relate to what I'm saying or got some input. And please go ahead and subscribe to the boy channel. I'm still a couple away from 50. A couple away from 50. We're trying to get to that 50 mark by, I guess, by the end of October. But I'm trying to hit 50, man. So please. And when you subscribe, go ahead and put the bell on. Even if you don't really care to see every video I put out, it really does help the channel. If you want to support at all, go ahead and put that bell on. And look in the description to see how you can support the boy's channel. We're trying to make moves over here. We trying to make moves over here, man. So, um, went out over the weekend. So on Friday, I went to uh, good old Red Lobster. Only my third time, maybe even second time in life going. And went to Red Lobster, and you know Red Lobster, they try to they 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 hit you over the head. You know, appetizers come. Yeah, let me go ahead and get uh, let me go ahead and get the uh the mozzarella sticks and the calamari. You know what I'm saying? They hit you over the head, whatever the price is. Then you're like, all right, um, for me, I'm going to keep it simple. Let me get the fish and chips, a little tartar sauce, a little dip. The girl get whatever she going to get. Yo, let me go ahead and get a crab cake. Yeah, yeah, let me get one of them. All right, all right, cool. Bill come to bill $95. That's before the tip. How the f what? I could have made all this at home for, for 20 but you know, you, that, and mind you, Red Lobster not even like a, a a fine dining experience. Here's my point about Red Lobster and being on your P's and Q's. So you pay your little money, you go about your way, the next day you go out for drinks, next day you go fill your car up, next day you pay that bill you forgot about. Before you know it, you done spent three, four, five hundred dollars that you didn't even think about. It's so important to be on your P's and Q's because this money gonna go. This money gonna go. Even if you're making a lot of money, you're gonna put out a lot of money. This money gonna go. I got a raise last week. Um, finally, finally, right? On Friday. And, you know, grateful for the raise, but it's been, it's been a couple years making the same amount of money. And one of the things that was said as my compliment was, that um, I have extreme positivity and the energy I bring and the rapport I build with the patients and just me as a professional individual is highly appreciated. And that's what I try to do. I try to bring that energy. I try to bring that positivity, especially in a lot of work that I do, patient care. And I was compensated fairly for the situation at hand. So I told I told uh, my, my, my person, I told my girlfriend about it and we were talking. I told one of my friends about it and I, they started to give like a little bit of feedback like damn it's, it's only XYZ price and I'm like only it's like two dollars I was like only I'm like bruh says what you're not understanding of that it ain't the company's job to make me rich <laughs> you dig like, they're not going to be like, yo, listen here, man. I know you're trying to get to financial freedom. And let me go ahead and put a little something in your stock and help you out with that. They're not going to do that, bruh. 
It's your job to acquire the skills necessary to be an individual that can go into the, the work marketplace and demand a certain amount of money. If the job that you went to school for isn't putting out that kind of money, then it's your job to go somewhere else. It's not my facility's job to pay me a lot more because I'm trying to be you know, in a decent position. They're gonna pay me based, based, based on the services rendered, based on what they feel I provide to the company. And unfortunately, there is a cap. There is a market average. They're not gonna stray too far from that. I don't have any, any any leverage. They can fill my position with anybody. Yes, I'm good at what I do. Yes, I bring good energy. But you think I'm the only mother effer that does that? No. Anybody with a, any, any, anybody with a license go up in there and, and, and run the same game, at least in the company's eyes. They don't value me as the individual. They value me for the position. And that, that, that's both good and bad, right? That's both good and bad. If you want a job where you value based on your performance solely, you get into jobs like um, being a, being a stock manager or being a, being some type of financial advisor or being some being a businessman and owning your own business and selling your own products. That's how you go about being recognized for your individual your individuality. But back to P's and Q's, man. This money gone go, and you really gotta stay on top of your finances. You really gotta stay on top of who you are. And this is going, you know, we trickle into um, health and fitness. You gotta, bruh, you gotta stay on top of what you're eating. Stay on top of how much water you're drinking. Stay on top of what time you're eating. Stay on top of your vitamin intake. Stay on top of just your fitness level and, and being active. Your strength, your finances, your knowledge, what you're learning, what you're reading, what audio books you're listening to, what TV shows you're watching, man. You gotta stay on top of it. You gotta be on your P's and Q's. I see too many patients that they act like they just they got to where they got to, whether they're not feeling well, they're sick, they're dying, whatever the case might be. They act like they got there by surprise. Like, no, this is a, 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 a common a, a accumulation of a lot of things that you let slide. I'm seeing 45, 50-year-old patients that are 400 pounds and now they can't walk. And they're like, oh, I was just walking yesterday. Yeah, you were walking, but barely. You couldn't take 10 steps without having to sit down for a break. You're 45 years old with a walker. And you don't have no real major ailment other than being overweight. A little scatterbrain with the report, but what I'm trying to tell y'all, man, is you gotta stay on your P's and Q's. I gotta keep saying that term. You gotta stay on it. Too many people are not aware. I'm 34 years old, I'll be 35 in December. You gotta stay aware of who you are and where you stand in the pecking order. So many people, they don't want to know the, the score. They play in the game and they don't want to know the, know the score. You got to know where you stand. Be realistic about the money you make and be realistic about the opportunities you have. Be realistic about who you know, who you don't know, your network, so on and so on. And if you don't like where you're at, do what it takes to change that. Educate yourself, make moves, do what you got to do. And if you do like where you're at, still make moves to, get, to go higher. You know, we're not talking about being rich over here. Ironically, ironically, that's my name, but we're not talking about being rich and famous. Like, you know, that's, that's something that's afforded to a few people that are extra, extra talented, work very hard, so on and so on. What we're trying to, what we're talking about is just being to the point where when you get older, you're not really worried about your bills. You're not really worried about your health coverage and your insurance. You're not really worried about how you're going to pay your car. You're not worried about food. Like, you're, you're living your life. You're working less. You're making decent money and you're living your life. And that starts now. That starts now with investments, with savings, with creating opportunities, with finding a way to earn more money. Overall, just staying on top of your P's and Q's, being a detailed individual, going out there and being the best person you can be that day. Learning is, man, reading and learning and, and, and whether it's podcasts, YouTube videos, actual reading books, it's the key. I know y'all, man, y'all probably tuned this out by now, but it's the key, bro. It really is. It really is. But, you know, that's a conversation for another day, I guess. As black people especially, man, we don't like, we don't like hearing that, that education stuff, huh? But that's true. They hide the answers in the books because they know we ain't going to look. And a few, one, and one of, and a couple of, and a couple of us that do look, 
we're able to be pretty decent, man. And once again, we're not talking about being rich and we're not talking about being rich and famous. We're talking about just being secure in what you got going on. And that takes a little extra legwork, right? You're trying to get ready for the summer. It takes a little bit of extra, you know, calorie uh, restriction. It takes a little bit of extra car cardio, a little bit heavier weight, right? Same thing here with this life thing, man, especially with the finances, man. I ain't trying to make this no finance channel. I'm really just still a, a reaction channel, but I'm also gonna talk about this men's lifestyle shit. You know, we gonna, we gonna get into it. Women, y'all can relate too, but it, you know, this is a channel for my for my gentlemen. We make that, no mistake about that. It's a channel for my gentlemen. Y'all can relate to the words we're saying, but we trying to push it to the next level. We ain't on no Manosphere stuff, no Kevin Samuel stuff, but we are trying to get better each and every day. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. Ladies, if you're watching this, Go ahead and, 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 and dive into the material, dive into the content, and start questioning your man. Start questioning your brother. Start questioning your friends. Start questioning your dad. Like, yo, well, for your dad, it might be too late, but start questioning, start, start questioning these people in your life and being like, yo, y'all checking the boxes or y'all just here? And then you can take this information and relate to, to it too. Don't be the person that unclicks it because I'm talking about finances or because I'm talking about how to get better. Figure it out because trust me, yeah, we ain't we ain't all got to figure it out. We ain't all rich, even though Instagram tell you that. You dig? Anyway, like, please, comment, please, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That means make sure the bell is dark so you can get every video I drop. I promise you, we're going to keep pushing it forward. We're going to keep getting better. Bear with me. And as always, I promise this going to all make sense real soon. All right?